Hey, Tim Leffel here, author of The World's Cheapest Destinations, which is now in its fifth edition. And I love to go to bargain places where you can see and do all kinds of crazy fun things. There's just one drawback to a lot of these developing countries. You cannot drink the water out of the tap. Some places you can, some places you can't, but in a lot of them you just can't trust it because uh, the water is not treated efficiently or it's treated some cities and not in others. So you're taking a chance if you just drink it straight out of the tap and it's even worse if you drink it out of a stream when you go hiking or something. The problem with these things though is these are a terrible scourge on the environment. Even if you only use say three of these a day, if you're on a year-round uh, journey, that's 1100 bottles. Even in a week or two you can go through a ton of these and most of them unfortunately end up in our world's waterways, the gyres in the ocean and scattered all over the ground. You've probably seen them every time you've traveled. So the best thing to do is to have some kind of water purifier or a water filter that's meant for travelers. I'm first going to talk about uh, water purifiers because I tend to use those the most when I'm just going to cities where you can uh, just treat the tap water. I'm unboxing this new one here called Crazy Cap. I have actually opened it because I had to charge it uh, in order to demo it. So. I've taken the outer wrapping off, but this is a pretty cool box, right? The only drawback here is uh, for something that's supposed to save you plastic, um, there's way too much plastic in here. There's this thing, and then there's the plastic holder inside, but we're just going to take this off and pull this out. But there's basic instructions here inside this flap, and then you've got uh, under this annoying plastic thing, you've got uh, more detailed instructions here. All right, so I'm getting rid of this thing. Now you can see this is like your basic swell bottle. You can carry it in the side of your um, day pack. You can pack it in a suitcase, it's pretty easy. What's cool about this is it works like a SteriPen with UV light and the light is actually in this little cap here. So the way it works is you charge it up with this thing. You just put this on top, plug it into any USB outlet and it charges up. And then when you're ready to, um, to purify your water, you just fill this thing up, put the cap on, and uh, hit it a couple times, and it will um, purify your water with UV light. I cannot uh, actually get this into this sink. That could be a problem sometimes, depending on what kind of bathroom you got where you're traveling. So for demo purposes, I brought this little tea kettle in here. So we're gonna fill this up with tap water. This is basically to be used with any kind of water that's clean. So I bring that up because if you're going to drink from a mountain stream, you should probably have a filter, um, especially if the water is kind of um, silty or muddy or something like that. You don't want to use a purifier because this depends on light being, go light being able to go through. You can tap it twice for regular tap water and that'll um, purify it for a minute. Or you can tap it five times and that will purify it for two and a half minutes if it's water that you think is really dicey. And when you see it turn blue, then you know it's doing its thing. So I'm gonna you know, do it up and down a few times, just make sure it all gets hit. But it's basically shining in from the top down through this bottle on the inside. And uh, when I get done here, I'll just uh, pull it off and then show it off again when it's got it in, in motion. But Basically when the light goes off it's done and you know you've got purified water. Uh, I usually wait a little bit, like um, 30 seconds a minute just to be sure, but really it's, um, it's good to go and ready to drink after you do that. Okay, so it's finished doing its thing. A minute later, I'm good to go. And I can stay hydrated all day until it's time to do it again. And then I just fill it up again. Put the top back on, turns blue when it's ready, and just so you can see, you're not supposed to shine this thing into your eyes, but I think on video it's probably okay. But it's just a UV beam that's going into here, and you can see here it lights up at the top when it's in use. And you know, if you could, you could use this thing as a night light if you really had to like find something in the dark, but uh, it's really meant for purification. I've used um, the SteriPen, which also uses this kind of UV technology, 
I've probably used that in two dozen countries now over the course of my traveling career and I've never gotten sick from drinking the water somewhere so that to me is a testament of how reliable it is and I feel good about it. I like how you can just charge it up with this thing wherever you are and you've always got uh, purified water with you in your bottle. There's no um, tube coming down like you have with a water filter where it's got to go through some charcoal filter. So again, that's Crazy Cap. You can find them at crazycap.com or you can buy them online. I'll put a few links into the um, description on YouTube so you'll be able to uh, click straight through to those and buy it. So this is the first one I'm covering, but I'm going to cover some other water purifiers and then get into some water filters. But we're going to change locations and get out of this bathroom. Okay, I'm in my house in Mexico in my kitchen, and as you probably know, you can't really drink the water from the tap here. I mean, you could. You could take a chance. It's probably not going to kill you, but in most places it's not treated with chlorine or anything like that. So I wouldn't just do this and chug a lug it. So you need some kind of filter if you're traveling through Mexico and a whole lot of other developing countries because they don't have a sophisticated water treatment system. So my go-to that I've used for at least 15 years now is the SteriPen. This is actually the cheapest version uh, and works just fine. So you can get that or you can get a more expensive one. And you basically just click on this, stick it in the water, and swirl it around. Depending on how big your uh, glass or your bottle is, is uh, how long you have to use this. If you press it once, it's uh, 45 seconds, I think, or something like that. If you press it twice, it's like a minute 15. And I pressed it twice for this 20 ounce bottle. But you can see it's working there. It's got this UV light that basically kills everything. Now you can only use this with clear water. You can't use this with uh, like muddy water from a stream, for example. But, you know, for tap water, which is what you're going to have most of the time, it works just fine. You can see it comes with this nice case, has a little belt loop thing here if you want to you know, hook it to your belt and carry it around. Uh, it's easy to pack, doesn't take up much room. So when this stops glowing, it's done. And you can pull out the stair pin, put the top on, and I'm putting my stomach where my mouth is here, drinking. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> That's a water purifier. We also have water filters, which are basically something that will filter your water as it goes through, so that way it gets purified in a different way. So once again, we're going to fill this up. And this is a SIG bottle, but what I'm using here is a life straw. This is a life straw adapter that can go into any water bottle with a standard top. It won't go into like a swell bottle, but it'll go into this Abex bottle, it'll go into this Sig one, and a whole lot of others. So basically, you screw this on, and with this one, there's no waiting time, and you just go, and you suck through it and then you're able to drink that water. Now this takes a little more effort <laughs> than it does just to drink, but the good news is you could use this with water that's not completely clear. And um, since it'll go in any water bottle, it's pretty easy to pack. You can just throw it in your suitcase, and then when you really need it, you can pull it out. And then with a similar idea is this Grail filter, G-R-A-Y-L. And this is the actual filter. So you press this, you put water in there, you press it down, and then you push this through, and as you do that, the filter comes up and filters the water. I mean, the water comes up through the filter, and then it's all clear. And I've got a better demo of this in Peru, in the field, right by a stream. I'm trying out this new, larger, gray purified HTO model mountain stream. I'm here at the base of Kakka Falls in Peru, northern Peru. We'll show that in a sec. But let's see how this thing works.
compress this down and it filters out everything. Sediment, bacteria, guardia, whatever's gonna harm you from a stream. Takes a little muscle for this, but that's because it's going through this very fine filter. You can pour it into another bottle with the top off, or you can just drink from it like this. And then you can just kick back and check out the waterfall. And the beautiful scenery with no plastic around. Okay, so that's just a few options. There's a lot of water filters out there, especially um, the ones that use this tech kind of technology. You can get bottles with a built-in filter, and there's probably 50 of them to choose from at this, at this point. There's also pump filters made by Katadin and others. Those are good if you're gonna be out hiking in the backcountry for a long period and you're gonna be drinking out of streams. Um, otherwise, I like these UV filters because they're easy to carry and pretty simple to operate. And as long as you're drinking tap water, they're fine. So that's it. Use something like this and you can stop throwing single-use plastic bottles away.